For every cigarette you smoke, you lose 11 minutes of lifespan. For every hour you sit, you lose 22 minutes. Fridays at Corvange are all about getting stuff done. But all that getting stuff done requires a lot of sitting. So today, I wanna to show you my favorite anti-desk workout that you can do with minimal time, minimal equipment, and not much space at all. Today, I wanna to talk thoracic spine. The thoracic spine has a natural forwards curve. When we sit at a desk, it tends to become exaggerated and we end up kyphotic with a hunchback. What happens then is those joints in your thoracic spine become tight and stiff, kind of like a rusty bike chain. And what we wanna to do today is loosen those up to reestablish that extension. Step one is to mechanically loosen out the joints. So grab a roller, under the middle of your back. Now, nearly every one of our athletes does this wrong. So, hoodies and ponytails out of the way, hands behind your head, and then you're just gonna open up, relaxing your head down to the ground. And once you're there, little up and backs. You should get some pops and cracks, and this is a good thing. That's those joints loosening back up. If the roll is too easy, the next option is to use these, or back balls. Put these along your spine down the middle. Starting at the top, hands across your body and slowly work your way down the spine until about the middle. Now you can buy these online, but you can also just make them out of tennis balls. Two tennis balls in a stocking or a sock, or using some electrical tape taped together, does exactly the same job. Once you've mechanically loosened up the joints with the roller or the back balls, some gentle stretches is your next step. So a cat camel, where you go from a camel into a cat and back, helps you slowly loosen up those joints and get some extension through the spine. Really important step here. If this causes any pain, make sure you stop immediately. It should not hurt your lower back or your upper back. So it's all very well to loosen things off, but if you don't put into practice, the gains you make in mobility just evaporate. What we wanna do is basically take our head posture first, so tuck the chin up. So imagine there's a string pulling your head to the ceiling, shoulders up and then just bring them back and down. And now you've reset yourself into a reasonable posture. Uh, that's gonna be better for tightness uh, and also bonus, make sure to it taller. Mm -hmm. 